what's going on guys living zombies here back with another pokemon go video and in today's video guys we are again talking about go fest because pokemon go did make a new announcement for the upcoming go fest events and they did confirm as expected that the fusions of necrozma will debut at the upcoming go fest events so yeah starting with the in-person events you guys can start getting the fusions of necrozma they did confirm that in this tweet right here but let's go ahead and take a look at the blog post for more details about this release so yeah pokemon debut necrozma the prism pokemon will make its pokemon go debut in raids during go fest 2024 which we knew about that right but also starting during go fest 2024 you can fuse necrozma with solgaleo or lunala to get dusk mane necrozma and dawn wings necrozma and also you guys cannot trade or transfer the fusions to the professor or transfer these fusions to pokemon home uh but let's talk about the fusion process i have already talked about this in a lot of uh videos before to fuse necrozma it will take a thousand solar or lunar fusion energy which we'll talk about how to get that energy in just a second and 30 necrozma candy and 30 cosmog candy too so we knew it was going to take a thousand energy and 30 necrozma candy but the 30 cosmog candy we did we did not know that was going to be a factor here too so first things first guys let's talk about how to get some solar or lunar fusion energy and then we'll talk about how to get some cosmog candy here too so yeah the energy is going to be a rare source of power that can fuse necrozma into those forms so trainers at the in-person events can get fusion energy via branching special research so yeah if you guys are attending any of those in-person events make sure you guys do complete your special research because in that research you will get rewarded with with energy for necrozma for i'm assuming both of the fusions you should get solar and lunar fusion energy in that research i guess there could be a chance you can only pick one of them i mean that might be possible but hopefully it is for both sources of the energy in that research so again you get the energy from special research the fusions will not be in raids but on day two of the global event the fusions will be in raids guys so we'll talk more about those raids in just a second and do remember that these fusions once you fuse them you are guaranteed to get the signature moves on those fusions i talked about that too in the video before so dust main necrozma will get that charge attack sun steel strike guaranteed and the necrozma dawn wings will get that moon guys beam too and they didn't talk about it on the blog post but these move sets do have adventure effects too i've talked about that before so if you guys do activate sun steel strike you guys will attract pokemon that do spawn more during the daytime on your incense and you can also do evolutions that require daytime no matter what time of the day it is once you guys activate that signature attack and the opposite goes for the dawn wings your incense will attract pokemon that spawn more during the nighttime so like ghost type pokemon on and you can do evolutions that require nighttime even if it's daytime it doesn't matter that adventure effect will allow you guys to get those evolutions no matter what time of the day it is okay so i did just read this to you guys you will have to pick either solar or lunar fusion energy via that special research at the in-person events you will only get enough energy for one of the two not both uh but of course you guys can get more energy during the global event when they are in raids now there was one thing we were incorrect about with these fusion raids because it does say this right here upon successfully completing a raid trainers will have the chance to catch necrozma and then use collected fusion energy to fuse necrozma with solgaleo to create dust main necrozma or lunala to create dawn wings necrozma so yeah once you guys take down the fusion raid you're not going to encounter solgaleo or lunala you will only just encounter necrozma so i was hoping it would be the other way around because maybe they would drop the shiny for a solgaleo or lunala or you know i will take some more solgaleo and lunala because they are pretty good pokemon but yeah that is not going to be the case they do also explain it more right here too guys 
Dustman and Krasma and Don Wings and Krasma will be in raids during day two of the global event. So yeah, trainers will have the chance to catch Necrozma in its regular form after defeating the Dustman or Don Wings raid. But in addition to encountering Necrozma and receiving the typical raid rewards, such as like rare candy potions, trainers will get solar fusion energy or the lunar fusion energy from Dustman and Don Wings and Krasma raids respectively. Trainers will also receive Cosmog candy. So this is another way you guys can get Cosmog candy candy you will get that candy from doing those raids too and in this section right here guys they do explain that on sunday day two of the global go fest you will get a free special research story and you can encounter another cosmog too so if you guys want a better cosmog iv uh, you guys can get another cosmog via that special research and ticket holding trainers will receive extended branching special research for the global event that includes encounters with solgaleo or lunala too as well as solar fusion or lunar fusion energy as well so that's another way to get you know another cosmog and another solgaleo or lunala in the game since again those fusion raids will only give you encounters with necrozma not solgaleo or lunala so yeah guys we now know that the fusions are confirmed for go fest in person ticket holders do get first access to the fusions and they get that energy via special research to fuse their necrozma into the respective fusion whether it's don wings or dust main whatever and then if you guys want to do fusion raids fusion raids will debut on day two of the global go fest which i am super excited for guys so yeah let me know in the comments below how excited you guys are for the fusions of necrozma do remember if you guys get a shiny necrozma you should be able to fuse it into a shiny fusion necrozma so a shiny dust main necrozma shiny dawn wings necrozma whatever that should be possible too which i'm super excited for so yeah comment your thoughts down below guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed drop a like in the video subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one peace